I'm here because I am a roaring lion crying out righteousness. It needs to be clear that Elon Musk, uh, allegedly the richest man on planet Earth, uh, is planning a trip to Mars within the next two, three possible years, uh, and not just himself and like the moon landing where only a couple people landed on the moon, but he's planning a trip to Mars and he's planning to take a colony of people, as many as a thousand people. And he has built a rocket ship with a booster, with a capsule that will carry a hundred people uh, and a booster that will have the ability to lift that rocket to the edge of space and then it'll have fire its second propulsion methods and then we'll travel to whatever it takes two years to get to Mars. I don't know how long it's gonna take, but they'll land on Mars. And um, he's also got government contracts in order to be able to build, have the resource material, the time and energy that even NASA didn't have uh, and the contracts to be able to build such a large spaceship as what Elon Musk is building. Now, he's got a prototype, and he launched it the other day. Mr. Indian, let him see what that prototype looks like. He launched this the other day from down in a place near the Mexican border in Texas, and uh, the booster went up. And the booster fired up rather and took it to the took it to the edge of space and then the other, if you will, uh, what's that Boca Chica, uh, Texas, and you you'll see the launch as it goes off and it's, it's a, this is a huge thing it may look a little small on your screen but this thing is huge, uh, and the booster is the, the capacity of carrying a hundred people um, is what this rocket will do, and it's alleged to take people as far away as Mars. So I thought you wanted to know that. There was a big a bit of a snag and a hiccup. Well, I don't know if you hiccup, but the the, the actual the, the, the booster fired and went as it should, but they have this thing called bringing the booster right back to the actual launch pad, and they have this thing called the chopsticks that will grab the booster and bring it back and set it down so you don't have to rebuild boosters because generally what happens, they fall in the ocean. But this particular, and Trump was there with Elon Musk. So let me just pull your coat to something. I don't know whether you're going to believe this or not. You probably won't. And, uh, and, and that's that. But Trump knows that he's the trigger of the tribulation. Trump knows that. Trump understands the wind of power is at his back. He knows that. He knows that the winds of ignorance is at his back. Trump knows the, wi wi the, 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 the wisdom, I mean, the winds of wickedness is at his back. He knows that. He knows that there is nothing that America can do or anybody else can do. It has been prophesied that he is to create the tribulation, wars, rumors of wars, earthquakes in diverse places, pestilence, famines, uh, false prophets. He knows that. He knows that that's been prophesied by the mouth of the Lord Jesus Christ, and he has been s selected uh, to bring on the tribulation. He knows that, and he knows that you can vote or not vote or what they want to do, but you can't outvote God. But he also now has teamed up with Elon Musk because Elon Musk knows this as well. And they're making plans to escape planet Earth when the earthquakes begin to crumble the cities and California falls off into the middle of the Pacific Ocean, which is going to do. The San Andreas Fault uh, is scheduled within the next, I don't know what, decade or less than that. Uh, to crack, and at that point, the shelves, the earth is made up not of a big ball of dirt, it's made up of shelves. For instance, it's like roads deep down into the, into the resources of planet earth, down, miles down into the earth, is that these, you have shelves, they're like tables or roads that come together, and sometimes, doing, depending on the rotation of the earth, other thing, one shelf will go up against another. And it will, when the, when the one, two shells are like that, they, stay that, they can stay that way for, for 10,000 years. But then something happens, and the shelf itself would then go up. At that place in time, you got an earthquake, because the earth just shakes when those shelves. Well, the San Andreas Fault is a shelf that eventually is going to go up over the other shelf. And then when that happens, California is going to break off probably part of Oregon as well. 
and, and collapse into the depths of the Pacific Ocean. And that's probably would definitely, by that time, he might be able to tell people we're in the tribulation, but that's still some idiots out here that don't believe the Bible and wouldn't believe if California, the San Andreas fault did happen and people did fall off into the middle of the Pacific Ocean, they still wouldn't believe that we're in the tribulation. But Trump knows and Elon Musk. So let me, the longer of this, maybe try to do a little geology, geologist, astrophysicist, whatever it is I'm doing here today, is that they're building a rocket ship to take them to Mars to start a colony on Mars. They said they found water on, on Mars, and they've looked through the Hubble telescope and the James Webb telescope, and they believe that life is possible on Mars. The, uh, the only thing that is necessary for life to exist on Mars is oxygen. And there are a couple of things that they're looking at right now scientifically. They're looking at if water is on Mars, then obviously hydrogen uh, can be somehow or another created. If there's enough water, hydrogen can be created and you can create oxygen or water. More specifically, they're also looking scientifically with the kind of money that Elon Musk has. They're looking at the potential. Now, listen to this very carefully of humans being able to take a pill that would eliminate them for the use of oxygen, that the pill that they take would oxidize their bodies and they wouldn't have to breathe. In other words, they could walk around in an unoxidized atmosphere, but their bodies are oxidized because the pill interacts with them. For instance, if you're in a space capsule, right, you see the people, they floating around in a space cap, they're about waving at one another, they're floating around. Well, it's weightlessness, right? But what they do is then they put on these space suits and they go, suits and they go for a space walk. They're working on a pill, and they very well may have perfected it. You know they don't tell you everything. They may have perfected a pill that would oxidize your body where you can actually walk inside of a place or a continent or planet that doesn't have oxygen, but yet your body will respond. Let me put it to you this way. You came out your mother's womb. Did you know that? And for nine months, you never breathed oxygen. Did you know that? For nine months, you were in your mother's womb for nine whole months, and you never breathed a breath, a breath of oxygen. Yet you lived. You grew. You expanded. That's right. But you never, ever uh, had breathed any for nine months. Now, once you came out your mother's womb, they slapped your butt. You took a deep breath. You choked. That was your first taste of oxygen. You say, well, what happened, Pastor Manny? How did I live for nine months without oxygen? Well, the best question is, I'm thank you for the question, but the, the other question is, is it possible for you to also live on Mars without oxygen? Because otherwise, everything else would be everything. And then the temperature is a little bit different because it's several million miles away from the sun, more so than planet Earth. But there is a pill now that will oxidize human beings, and Donald Trump and... Elon Musk are planning on escaping the tribulation when it really gets bad and San Andreas falls and California falls off and New York has earthquakes and everybody's famines. They're going to get on board their spaceship and they're going to say bye-bye to everybody.